Hi guys, today I'm going to explain some techniques to make plastic pieces. There are many of them, but we only will study the most common. Today we will explain compression, extraction, injection and blowing. So let's begin. Compression. This technique is called compression or thermocompression. Is applied usually to thermosetting plastic, like for example Bakelite. The plastic, as you can see, is played in a steel mold. This is the plastic, is, is placed in a steel mold and heated. You can see the heaters. So the plastic uh, acquires um, a paste consistency. This is the plastic. Now we have a paste consistency. Um, a hydraulic press applied pressure, so the plastic takes on the shape of the mold. After that, the plastic is cooled. So at the end, we have pieces that resist high temperatures. So with this presser, process we can we can manufacture for example um, uh, handles for saucepans or handles for frying pans and it's very useful um, to make for example also electrical insulators for sockets or fuse boxes and etc next next technique is called extrusion. In this process, we put the plastic granules into a hover, into a hopper, sorry, and the plastic is pushed through the nozzle. This is the nozzle, the whole nozzle, using a worm gear. This is the worm gear that presses the plastic through the nozzle. The plastic at the same time is heated by the heaters. The, the shape of the nozzle, this is the shape of the nozzle, is exactly the, sha the same shape as the end product. This part is called a struder. So this is the name of the technique comes from the struder. With this technique, we can produce long pieces, long products, but always with the same shape, exactly the shape of the nozzle. This is the nozzle. Injection. In this case, the, tec the technique is very similar to the before technique. Uh, the raw material again is placed in a hopper and the extruder compacts and melts the plastic thanks to a worm gear that makes the, um, the pressure and the heaters that heat the plastic until it is melted. And the extruder inserted by means of pressure into a metal mold the plastic. So you can see here the mold and the plastic inserted by means of pressure. At the end the plastic is cooled so that it hardens and the finished product is removed from the mold. This is one of the more common techniques. With this technique we can produce complex shapes with very precise measurements. Some, produ some objects produced with these techniques are, for example, buckets, containers, plastic gears, casing for cell phones, and etc. The last technique for today is blow forming. Again, we have an extruder with a warm gear and some heaters to make molten plastic 
In this process, molten plastic is given a tubular shape with the use of the extruder. The plastic is then inserted into a mold. Air, pressurized air, is blown inside this mold until the plastic takes the shape of the walls. This technique is used to make all types of containers and other hollow objects. You can see some examples of objects made with blow form. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Let's see in class tomorrow.